What if the ninjaga heroes were in the world of Star Wars? Today we will see who the famous ninjas would be in the world of Jedi and space battles. And at the end of the video, be sure to write in the comments if you agree with this assumption. Well, with you as always Papa Lego, let's go! All Star Wars minifigs have beige-colored heads as the Lego sets are based on a real live-action movie. Therefore, I did not use the standard heads from Ninjaga, but picked up similar ones from other sets and series. For the first character, I used a head from Draco Malfoy from the Great Hall of Hogwarts. After all, to assemble a Padawan minifigure, you need the face of a small child. The most popular character in the Ninjago series, the Red Ninja Kai has become just him. The Jedi in Star Wars wore the same loose and light tunics as the Spinjitzu Masters, so that in sword combat, clothing did not hinder their movement. I found a suitable torso for Kai among the old Lord of the Rings sets, complementing it with a hood of the same color. True, now our hero looks more like a little red riding hood, but this can be fixed by adding a blue lightsaber to the minifigure. Since I don't collect Star Wars, I don't have many Jedi weapons left, which is why Kai's sword is so short. But I think it will get longer with age. But the sword of his teacher, of course, is bigger. After all, Master Wu in the Ninjago universe was experienced and wise. But what's even better is the exact same head as Sensei Wu, just beige. I borrowed it from another less popular Jedi, Kiati Mundi. And at first I even thought about leaving the head completely, but I decided to make Master Wu more like the original. Taking a torso from old Luke, hair from Superman's father, and a light blue cape, I assembled a word teacher for our padawan with great power comes great responsibility but master this from another movie and who is this? Of course it's Senator Misako. Yes, Lloyd's mother in the world of Star Wars became a senator of one of the mining planets of the Republic. Although she looks more like one of the warlords because I assembled the minifigure itself from parts from the Mandalorians, trying to keep the color scheme of the original character. In any case, she decided to visit our heroes for a reason. Misako informed Master Wu that one of her spies had spotted the Sith while on a mission to the Far Reaches. They haven't been seen for hundreds of years. Perhaps the spy was mistaken, but our heroes the Jedi Knights will have to find out. First of all, Master Wu and his young Padawan went to question the scout in more detail to find out all the details. In this version of Star Wars, our spy will of course be Naya. The minifigure is built in gray and black tones, allowing her to hide in the dark like a real ninja, and is completed with a black hood, ninjago parts and accessories from Star Wars. Naya said that while gathering information about recent attacks on mining colonies, she found the leader of the attackers. However, what she saw shocked her. She could have sworn it was a Jedi, only the color of the sword was red. Could this mean the Sith are back again? The only way to find out is by seeing it for yourself. Well, in order to get to the distant frontiers, the Republic kindly provided our heroes with a starship under the command of the famous Admiral J. Like lightning, his ship reaches the most remote corners of the galaxy in the shortest possible time. After all, this brave Admiral, not afraid of asteroids and space pirates, chooses the most dangerous but shortest paths. This is how he achieved such loud fame among the Republic fleet. By the way, I assembled the figure itself from the equally famous Star Wars character Admiral Raddus, while retaining the distinctive parts from the Ninjago figure. But Admiral J would not be able to cope with such difficult missions without his team. It is such experienced pilots as Lloyd who sit at the helm of the ship. Since childhood, this hero has participated in the famous and most dangerous races in the desert. Despite his young age, Lloyd will give odds to many pilots of the Republic. Parts from the series 21 minifigure Alien, the laptop from the Grey Vision from the Marvel Universe and of course, the blonde hair. Having once again coped with his task perfectly, Lloyd reported to Admiral J about his imminent arrival at the port of destination. When our heroes almost finished their preparations and began to prepare for the landing, they were disturbed by one of the protocol droids, ZDA, or simply Zane. Knowledge of more than 7 million languages and dialects and an extensive database of local planets will help Jedi Knights not to get lost among the local population. Any film or cartoon in the Star Wars universe is complete without some kind of droid, and in this world, even among the Ninjaga heroes there is an iron partner. As in the ninja sets, Zane is a droid that will perfectly complement the team by helping them with his skills and abilities. And to make it more similar to the original, I kept the head from the white ninja, choosing only the other side. This print looks more realistic, in my opinion. And adding a few details with interesting prints, we got a very colorful character. After learning from local workers about the location of the attack and what the attackers were after, the Jedi Knights went to the power reactor in the very depths of the mines. As they got closer, they noticed 
equipment in the shadows. A dark silhouette moved quickly among the boxes of fuel. Without waiting for the command, the young Padawan rushed at the enemy, but without even having time to get his lightsaber, he was thrown back by a sharp blow from the mysterious warrior. Out of the way, Jedi, you are not my target today. It was one of the most dangerous bounty hunters from the outer ring. Since childhood, Cole decided that he would not waste his life swinging a pick in the mines, where he was born and found a more worthy use for his skills. Details from Spider-Man from the movie Far From Home, as well as Ninjaga sets and a blaster from Star-Lord from the Marvel Universe fit perfectly here. The bounty hunter told our heroes that the owners of the local mines hired him to find and eliminate the head of the attackers. Master Wu promised Cole that if their target turns out to be not what they think, then the hunter can safely do his job. But if he still turns out to be a Sith Lord, then Cole will definitely not be able to cope alone. Lego is a good investment of your money. Over time, it not only retains its price, but also increases it. But if you want to not only save your money, but also increase it, then a good solution would be to invest your funds in real estate in Dubai. Now the real estate market in Dubai is actively growing and developing. The value of real estate is only growing every year, and the income from renting it out will allow you to buy all the Lego novelties that you like every month. Well, in order not to waste time on a long study of the real estate market and the laws of the United Arab Emirates, you can contact the specialists from CEO Realist. You can find a link to their platform in the description. When they reached the generator itself, they heard a shrill female voice. All of Master Wu's worst fears were confirmed the light of the red sword and the strongest sense of dark power. But even worse, he knew this young girl. Once Princess Harumi was one of the Padawans of the Jedi Academy, but after the mysterious death of her adoptive parents, she disappeared without a trace. The council decided that she was kidnapped, but the search turned up nothing. Now everything has fallen into place. Harumi found the mask of one of the strongest representatives of the dark side, the Sith Lord, Garmadon. And now she decided to blow up the generator, destroying the entire planet along with its inhabitants, thereby bringing the Dark Lord back to life. The moment that Master Wu has been preparing for all his life has arrived. Now he will take the fight with the Sith. After instructing Cole to leave to de-energize the generator and take care of the young Padawan, he drew his lightsaber and engaged in a duel. The fight was hard, the power of the dark side did not let him relax for a second. But now the enemy's sword was thrown back, and the Jedi Master was ready to strike a decisive blow, as lightning pierced his body. There are always two of them, a teacher and a student. Darth Over, Lord of the Sith, the very embodiment of dark power. It was believed that his name was just a legend, but here he is, all in the flesh. Body and face from an Anakin minifigure, mask and hair from a DC Universe cyborg, black torn chopping cloth and wide shoulder pads. It is unlikely that Master Wu will be able to get out of here today, but the Jedi Council must know the danger the Republic is in. Yes, this is the only way left for him. Leaving the corporeal shell, Wu turned into a ghost of power. It remains to be hoped that young Kai and the bounty hunter managed to turn off the power generator and prevent the Sith from reaching their goal. Well, if you liked today's video, be sure to like and check out the channel. There you will find even more interesting customs and stories. Well, with you as always was Papa Lego. All you cool minifigures and I'm not saying goodbye.